Epilog, Devonfold Homestead. This is going to continue the Assassin Order. Cost too much. The Great Fire of New York. The Battle of Trenton. Let's have a location. Assassin stuff. Mission failed. Everyone failed. I have the painting you sent me for. Would you like some help hanging it? Maybe not just yet. Okay. <clears throat> Mission here. Doctor, you need to help me. Let me first check if there are any more naval missions, maybe. No. Looks worse than it. How's Lee updated? When Leo's finally released from New York, he was convinced that the Continental Army couldn't hold its own against the British and told Congress so. However, when Washington decided to go ahead with plans to attack the British column at Monmouth, Lee insisted on being in charge. Once the battle began, Lee ordered his soldiers to retreat. Modern historians are still debating the reasons why. Maybe he'd forgotten his doggy treats in the tent and needed to go and get them. Didn't I read that already? Uh, turning a complete route of his army into a draw. Well, Washington took command. Lee received a very thorough and public dressing down. Afterwards, Lee demanded an apology for a court martial to, for a court -martial to clear his name. Washington chose the court martial, which didn't go as Lee had hoped. He was found guilty of misbehavior before the enemy, making a shameful and disorderly retreat, and disrespect to the commander in chief. Conduct unbecoming, maybe. He was only given a year of suspension for the crime, but by the time the year was over, he'd been so vocal in the criticism of Washington that the Congress 
removed him from the army permanently. Lee retired to his estate in Virginia, passing his time breeding more, lo more dogs. After his death, he was given full military funeral, getting all the respect he craved, too late to do anything with it. Jacob Zenger. Uh, he's German. Hmm, he's Hessian. Just keep it clean and you should be fine. What's going on here? Doctor! You need to help me! Wait times. I simply can't get to all these men in reasonable time. I need help from you, from anyone. I think I have someone for you. Stop yelling. Bring Diana. Okay, let's bring Diana. Oh, Diana's here. Diana, come with me. I need your help. Of course. What's the matter? Running. Do the running. Dr. White is overwhelmed and needs some extra hands. I'm no doctor, Connor. Maybe not. But I have seen you care for people before. Diana. Perfect. I'm told you have a healer's hand. Please see to this young man. Connor, if you could help the two gentlemen out front. What's wrong with him? Thanks, Skip. Good of you to help. I should be all right. Many thanks, Captain. What the hell is wrong with him? That's a spot better, sir. Thanks. Look at the shoulder. Okay. Caught a piece of shrapnel in the shoulder. Bad luck. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Uh, caught some burn off a rope. It happens. Thanks, Skipper. You did well, Connor. But Diana. You impressed me greatly. Well, thank you, Doctor. I haven't studied the practice or anything. Maybe not, but your instincts are superb, and you have a healer's touch. If you had the time, I would be grateful for your help on a more regular basis. Maybe Catherine could watch the young ones a few days a week. And if she can't, we'll find someone who will. Hmm. Okay. This thing here. Go, go, go. I have your plans. What are they for? You got them! This, Connor, is the design for a chair that folds. Genius! You won't regret this. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
and the moon just came up. Okay. Well, that's a home. Let me look at the book first. Purchased? Why isn't it purchased? Do we really have 150 of it? Okay. Wait, 98? What is missing? Trip mines, not enough resources. Black powder. Black powder? How do I get black powder? Need sulfur. But I gave you a ton of sulfur. I bought a ton of sulfur. I didn't buy anything. Okay, never mind, I'm worried out. Not here. Look at my weapons. Oh. Oh. That's weird. Old man. Achilles. Achilles. No, I don't think he's gonna wake up on that one. Did he leave you everything? Give Father Timothy the news.
you know, need some dandelions. What is it? Achilles has passed. I'm so sorry. He passed peacefully and with dignity. Yep. Please that. A service then? Yes. Please prepare something appropriate. I will see the grave is dug. Can you gather everyone? Anna, if you are reading this, I have failed to say goodbye as I wanted, but the time never seemed appropriate. I leave this land and all its resources to you. I trust you now know this place has become something of great significance. A community to serve as an example of what this would-be nation could become. But the larger and stronger it grows, the more fragile and difficult to defend it becomes. I hope your friends who are birthing this infant country understand this truth. Your unwavering tenacity and honesty have burdened you with responsibility far greater than any one man should bear. But you, if anyone, are capable. You have given an old man hope that all is not lost. And for that, I thank you. I ask that you lay my bones to rest on the hill overlooking the water. There is no other place on this earth I'd rather be. I am grateful to have met you, knowing you will guide this land and these people to a better future. Yours in brotherhood, Achilles. Aww. Prayer and sermon do not suit this occasion. Achilles was not a man of God. Not my God, at any rate. But he certainly believed in a guiding force. And he is at peace now, and for that we can be grateful. We lay him to rest here, atop the bluff where he made his honorable and dignified life, so he can remain that comforting presence the old man on the hill that we have all grown to depend on. You all had your own relationships with him, your own moments, and I implore you to return here when the time is right for you and share those stories with the waves and the trees. Achilles, you will be missed, but never forgotten. Go safely, old man. Safely to where your soul need rest. Oh. I will make you proud, old man. Legacy.
Is it him? What was this going on? Or was it the other color? There's a box here now? Also, who am I gonna play with? Uh, Timothy. Fine. Then I'll do this. And then I'll do this. And then I'll do this. And then I'll do this. No, that was a mistake. Never mind. Hmm. It's gonna take me three. Or maybe not. Okay, that was a better play. A much better play. Obviously. Oh my god! That was painful. I'm gonna lose this. Well played. Yeah, that was stupid. You must keep a close eye on me. Yeah, just just end it. I do not like to lose. <laughs> yeah, you take the hundred. I'm gonna see about that box.
Hashem Iron Ingots. The team. What do I have in New York? What main mission is there? Is that repeating the last mission? Yeah, he was sitting on nothing. We'll see. What the hell was that? Cabbage. All right. Genius. What's this? Evacuation day. America has no need for Send your them services, back to Britain gentlemen. in a box. Uh, duck. What? Death to the oppressors! Cut them down! Yeah, that's like trade. You need but stop at one You can solve it by killing one man. Evacuation day in New York, November twenty fifth, seventeen eighty three. It was the day the British troops sailed out of New York City at the end of the American Revolution. Not to be confused with Evacuation Day in Massachusetts, where the British sailed out of Boston Harbor nearer to the beginning of the Revolution. While the Treaty of Paris formally ended the war in early September, the British took some time to pack up their belongings and leave their stronghold at New York, mainly because many Loyalists found a sudden need to leave the country, and so there were more people to carry than they originally anticipated. Plus, they probably wanted some time in duty free. Of course, the British are known for being practical jokers, and so they couldn't resist getting in a few friendly parting shots before they left. Troops nailed a Union Jack to a flagpole on the bowling green, and then greased the pole. Undaunted, the Americans nailed up spikes to help them climb, managing to raise stars and stripes before the British fleet had sailed out of sight. After that, climbing a greased flagpole to tear down a Union Jack would be part of New York's evacuation day festivities, knowing that you Americans need better hobbies. The other British parting shot was a literal one. The British ship fired a cannonball at a crowd on Staten Island who were jeering at their departing flotilla. Nobody was hurt, the ball fell short of the land, but it's sometimes called the last shot of the American Revolution. Evacuation day isn't much celebrated anymore. It fell out of favor when Thanksgiving was moved to the, at, to the end of November in 1863. The Treaty of Paris. Signed 1763. This is the treaty that ended the war between Britain and the United States, not to be confused with the Treaty of Paris of 1763, which ended the French and Indian War, or the Treaty of Paris of 1810, which ended the French War with Sweden, 
Sorry, loves the treaty. The fighting between Americans and British forces had mostly ended by 1781, with Cornwallis surrendered at Yorktown. This agreement formalized the end of the war and declared the United States as a new nation with 13 colonies and 13 new states. The treaty also provided for the release of prisoners of war on both sides, a return of seized property to loyalists and patriots alike, and an expansion of the boundaries of the United States. Of course, the reality was a bit more complicated. Both sides refused to return property that theoretically belonged to the other, like a messy divorce and some easy listening CDs. And as to the offer of expanded territory, well, Spain had other ideas about whose land it was, as did the indigenous people living there. Yeah, the Battle of Chesapeake, which I participated in. in the frontier. Washington? Before I leave New York. Uh, your door is closed. Any parting words, Commander? Connor. Commander. It's good to see you. You have what you set out for. What will you do with it? A fair question. But if truth be told, I do not know. Men with far greater minds than mine will build this country's foundations. A task I am simply not equipped for. Have you played bocce before? <laughs> I'm really growing quite fond of it. I think I'll have a green belt at Mount Vernon when I return. All that death and sacrifice and you mean to leave the important tasks to better men while you play games? I might have expected it. <laughs> Connor, whether you think you are capable or worthy of the task, after the things you have done to ensure this outcome, you should not have the luxury of peace. Yeah, well, one thing. Uh... Everything here is cleared. Let's travel immediately. Okay, they finished. Do that. Boon? What the hell are you doing in my village? <laughs> if you're hungry, I'm extra. No, thank you. Where is everyone? Uh, gone west. Been a while since they left. Seems some fella from New York was 
granted the land by Congress. What? Seeing it happen more and more. Government says they don't take land that's already owned, but... Uh... <laughs> they don't care about the locals. How could this have happened? We're on our own now. No more merry English parts and labor, which means we gotta go at it ourselves. Gotta pay for it too. Selling land is quick and easy, not quite so nasty as taxes. And since some say they're what started the old war, ain't no rush to bring them back. <laughs> Clever men, these new leaders of ours. They know not to push it just yet. Too soon for taxes. Too... British. Thank you. Be safe. Yeah. Boston. What? What is there in Boston? All complete. There's nothing more to do. And the football mask. never properly said goodbye to you. I was not ready, so here I am. The weight of my responsibilities never seems to diminish. There is always something else that needs fighting for. This is something you never warned me of. Maybe because you thought I would have been deterred. You would have been wrong, but I know you were not accustomed to that. <laughs> Life carries on here. The people seem happy. They are certainly safe. At least for now. One of my brotherhood asked me something I have been struggling with. What happens if, when, we win? When we stop the Templars? It is a question I certainly do not know the answer to. Perhaps you did not either. I miss you. As I miss my mother. I hope all is well with you, wherever you are. Goodbye, old man. Until it comes time for me to join you, then I will bother you once again. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, that's a good place as any to end. Recently I've heard of the idea that when you quit a game, leave your characters in a place that they'll find interesting and peaceful. So how about this?